Problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today's video is how to solve a system of equations using matrices and a TI-84 calculator. I have two equations with two variables here. I'm going to create a matrix that contains the coefficients 5 and a 1, 2 and a 1. Multiply it by the variable matrix XY and set that equal to a solution matrix 11, 4. First thing is these x's have to line up, these y's, and then these solutions. And you can see as I multiply this 2 by 2 times the 2 by 1, yes, I can multiply them. The results of 2 by 1. This is first row, first column, so it would be 5x plus 2y would equal 11. And I can see that's my equation there. Okay, on the TI-84 here, uh, the way I enter matrices is here's the matrix button right here. So I'm going to go second matrix. I could either name the matrix, do operations on it, or edit it. So I want to edit it first. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to edit the first matrix. I'll call this matrix A. Matrix A is going to be a 2 by 2. And the elements are 5, 2, 1, and one. Now I could quit. And then I'm going to call this solution matrix here B. So I'm going to go back to matrix, over to edit. I want to edit the second matrix now. So I could scroll down to two, or I could enter the number two. This matrix is a two by one. And the values are 11 and four. Again, I'm going to quit. What I have here is I have matrix A times V, variable matrix, equals B. If I want to solve for my variables V, I can multiply both sides by the inverse. And I can see my variable matrix would be equal to my inverse matrix of A times B. Right? These will cancel, giving me my variable by itself. So I could do that pretty easily on the calculator. So I'm going to go matrix. I want to select matrix A. I want to take the inverse of it. Here's the inverse button right here. The inverse of A times matrix 2. So I have the inverse of A times B. And there's my solution, 1, 3. So my variable matrix here is equal to 1, 3. All right, and that is still going to be equal to xy. So I have an x value of 1, a y value of 3. Just double check that. 1 plus 3 is 4, works there. 5 plus 6 is 11, so I can see it works in both cases. It's not that much simpler than linear combinations, but you could see when you get to 3 variables, 3 equations, 4 variable, 4 equations, 10 variable, 10 equations, um, more and more data, the only way to really solve these types of problems is with matrices and technologies. Let me go ahead and do a 3 by 3 as well. Okay, so now I have three variables, three equations. Here are my three equations right here. I'm going to want to pause the video and solve this system of equations using technology, um, using the TI, and then watch how I do it. So again, my x's are lined up, my y's, my z's, and they're equal to a number. Then I take all of the coefficients and create a coefficient matrix. One, two, three. Negative two, one, negative one. Three, five, negative three. Times a variable matrix, x, y, z, equal to a solution matrix, three, eight, negative 22. And again, here I have a three by three times a three by one. So yes, I can multiply them. My result will be these dimensions here, a three by one, three rows, one column. And I can see as I multiply these together, I'd have one X minus two Y plus three Z would equal three, and the same as that equation there. On my graphing calculator, I'm gonna go to matrix. I wanna edit it, enter. It's a three by three. And then the elements are 1, using the negative button, negative 2, 3, 
two, one, five, three, negative one, negative three. So I have that matrix entered into my calculator. Let me quit. Then I'm going to go back to matrix. I'm going to edit matrix two. It's a three by one. The values are three, eight, negative 22. And then I want to get my variables, my x, y, and z by themselves. Multiply the left side by the inverse. That and that'll cancel, giving me v by itself. If I do that to the left side, I also have to do it to the right side. So here I'm going to have variable is equal to the inverse of a times b. Here's my variable matrix, x, y, z. And it's going to be equal to the inverse of a times b. So we'll go over here and go matrix. Number one is a, the inverse. So I have a, the inverse matrix 2, the inverse of A times B, right, the inverse of A times B is equal, and then there's my solution. So X is negative 4, Y is 1, Z is 3. This matrix equals this matrix. X must equal negative 4, Y, 1, Z, 3. Just to double check, I could plug those values in. Negative 4 minus 2 Right, negative four minus two is negative six. Did I do something wrong there? I gotta write these in. This is gonna be negative four minus two plus three times three. So negative six plus nine is equal to three. That works. I check in the other equations. Uh, hopefully it works as well. Okay, thank you for watching.